We start off in the Gambia, where relatives of people murdered by death squads in the country have expressed outrage over the release of three former hitmen of ex-president Yahya Jami, the three uh, who said they uh, committed dozens of assassinations ordered by the ex-president, were released from army custody two weeks after appearing before the country's rights uh, violation panel known as the Truth Reconciliation and Reparations Commission, TRRC. Jame ruled the West African country with an iron fist for 22 years and was only forced out after losing elections in December 2016. Former Yaya Jame's hit squad members testified on Monday implicating the Gambian ex-president in the killings during his tenure of office. The testimonies before the country's Truth, Reconciliation and Reparations Commission triggered outrage in families and sympathizers. Baba Haidara was listening to the radio in his car when one of the hit men coldly described how his father was murdered. His father was the co-founder of the Point newspaper, an AFP's correspondent in the Gambia for 30 years. Who ordered the killing of Deida Hydra? It must be Yaya Jame. It wasn't easy because it brought back memories, you know, something that we've been through like almost 15 years ago. Um, it was really hard for the whole family. Now we have direct evidence linking him to killing Gambians. So this has serious legal I mean, implications. We have primary evidence. And this can be the basis of formally charging him and perhaps ask, asking for his extradition. Now, the wall of silence around Jamey's 22-year reign of fear is starting to crack. And information, if not yet justice, is starting to flow. Yes, counsel. You executed him in cold blood. Yes, counsel. In the Gambia, these hearings of former perpetrators are well attended and make people grind their teeth. Some question the validity of releasing the power of former henchmen after their confessions. But on the government side, the Minister of Justice says that this release of former assassins in the Yaya Jam regime is intended to encourage other alleged perpetrators to come forward and testify. to recommend the release of the three men who have been in custody for over two years and a half now <clears throat> has not been an easy one for me, especially considering the victims and their mourning families. But I cannot shy away from making decisions because they may be unpopular. Well, uh, that was the Minister of Justice there in uh, the Gambia speaking about uh, some of those uh, revelations from the uh, commission about uh, the killings uh, from three hitmen of Yaya Jami. We have more stories making the headlines across the continent coming up next in the African Journal.